Hey all, Kyle, AA0Z here, and I was cleaning out some of my Missouri Cuso party buckets, and I came across this antenna that I have built, and I have been using this uh, octopus-shaped thing for the last probably five to seven years, and it is a quick disconnect dipole that I made that's got... Basically, it's a fan dipole that has three quick disconnect bullet connectors on it. So this is a current ballon that I've gotten from Radio Waves. And I have just put three different ends. As you can see, they're just connected to the dipole uh, center here. And it's got a small, I would say that's probably uh, eight or nine inches of wire and each one of these has a male bullet connector on the end of it, if you can see that. And I've got a whole slew of bullet connectors. I will put a link in the description for all the parts that I have put together here uh, so you can build your own. So I've done this three times on each side. So I use this at Missouri QSO Party for 20, 40, and 80. And I string this thing up about 35 foot and on a military mast, and that gets us invis for 40. 80 at that uh, uh, distance or that height is always going to be invis. And uh, typically we um, uh, string a 20 meter, the 20 meter side to a couple of trees if we can get it uh, horizontal. But the 80 and the 40 go back down to the ground and get uh, staked off uh, around the, uh, uh, the military mast. So the way that this works is you put all the stuff together and then you lift it up onto the military mast. The key is these standoffs and these S-clips that I have basically attached them via a paracord to the back of, the, of this um, tie-off. So this is just uh, some small amount of paracord. And I've gotten these S-clips. And what I have done is, let me get, uh, this is the 20 meter dipole. So what I have done is taken female bullet connector, and then I have wrapped this, made, it a, made a loop, and then wrapped this probably uh, one, two, three, four, it's four times around. So I've taken, uh, I made a loop probably, I want to say 10 inches from the end of the cable, and then wrap that around for the strain relief. So then what happens is, if I can do this and show you, the loop goes onto the S-clip, okay? And then you connect the bullet connector, and this is your strain relief for your dipole. So if you want to make a quick and dirty dipole that uh, you can hoist up in a portable situation, but you want to you know, take the ends off, or you want to hoist it up and uh, maybe change it out from 20 to 40, this could be a solution to connect different length of cable to your dipole without uh, uh, having multiple dipoles in your arsenal. So anyway, just wanted to show that to you. I've had this for quite a while. It's been through the ringer, um, but it's always uh, performed well. And uh, that's my Octopus Fan Dipole Quick Disconnect. Thanks.